Hi guys, quick review tutorial about this HTH Pool Care 6 way test kit. That's what I got and I ordered it by the way. I paid full price. This is not a sponsored review. I think the box is really nice. You can open this. Uh, it's very sturdy. Everything nicely stored here inside. You get the instructions manual here. A little bit difficult to take out. There's a lot of information, safety precaution very very important because there's some acid here inside also a lot of information about general troubleshooting water test descriptions and levels and so on but the most important thing of course is on this side this is describing how to test it i don't know if you can read that but it's not too difficult we have dedicated stuff for each test in this video i'm not going to do all the tests what i'm focusing on is the cyanuric acid test the thing which you ha really have to know about this test is that you can only test this two times while the specs say you can use it around 100 times to test your pool water or any other water this is only valid for all the other tests like the chlorine test ph test alkalinity test and hardness test but not for the cyanuric acid test because this test has only two tests available i hope you can read that down here only two tests available i mean of course this somehow makes sense when everything is okay you just need to adjust it a little bit we usually don't have to test the cyanuric acid every week most people recommend to check maybe two or three times per year because the levels are not fluctuating a lot usually. But in case if it's off and you need to adjust it and you want to retest and then readjust and retest, that's not the thing for you. I just wanted you to be aware of that. So what we really need for the cyanuric acid test is this chemical here. We need this bottle here, that's the number 9191 described here on top. And I took also this cup here, which is inside. It's actually not needed. You can use any other cup, but I needed some pool water. And so I used it to grab some pool water. Also important to use water from deep down there, about as deep as you can reach with your arm, go down and then fill it up here and so we need this one first here we remove the cap and fill it up to the seven milliliters level here with the pool water fill it here inside that's actually the reason why i was using this because it's very easy to fill it up to a pretty exact level i hope you can see that that's around seven milliliters and now we start with the chemicals so highly recommended to use some protective stuff i'm using here some gloves maybe have also some towel ready paper towel or something like that in case you're producing some spills and then i'm using also these safety goggles and now we need this cyanuric acid testing chemical shake it here a little bit i don't know if that's needed but we need to do more shaking after that so i open the cap it's already open no seal to remove and now we fill it up to the 14 milliliter level with this chemical I don't show you that very closely, but I guess you get the point here. It's not too difficult. Go slowly up because you cannot remove the chemical after that if you have too much. I think I'm straight at the 14 milliliter point. Close the chemical here and then we also close this bottle here. And now I hope you can see that the total fill level is 14 milliliters combined seven milliliters of pool water and seven milliliter of this chemical and now we have to shake it for 30 seconds i don't show you the whole process of shaking 30 seconds so that was around 30 seconds and now what we need is this bottle or this container where you see this black dot underneath and now we can start filling this up we open the dispenser nozzle here 
and pour it inside till the black dot is disappearing from the top. So we have to look from the top and keep adding until we don't see it anymore. I still see it. Yeah, I think we have quite high level. I can still see it. Now it's slowly disappearing. Yeah, I think it has disappeared. And now we can check the level here. Unfortunately, we don't have levels down there. But we can definitely see that the level is too high because the level is not increasing to the top. The cyanuric acid numbers are actually increasing down there. And when they are so low, we definitely have way too much cyanuric acid in the water or pool water, which I have here. I've been testing the pool water at Leslie's pool supply and the reading showed around 160, which is way too high. Unfortunately, I've been adding way too much cyanuric acid. The reason actually why it happened is because of these test strips. That's the test strips which I've been using. Easy test. And I've been actually pretty happy with it. Looks like most of it gives a really nice accurate reading, but obviously not regarding cyanuric acid. And so this caused this problem. And now I have to get rid of this problem, which is not an easy thing, but I'm trying to do that with some chemicals, maybe worse another video. But I would say that's it for now regarding testing cyanuric acid levels with this HTH pool care six way test kit. So I haven't tested everything, but regarding the cyanuric acid test, it seems to be unfortunately for me reliable. And so if you're interested in this test kit, you can find the link for the Amazon listing down into the description of the video. Other than that, I would say that's it for now. I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments or want to share your own experience with this test kit, then just let us know down in the feedback area. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.